and welcome to this week's Stay Home Science with ASC. Today we're going to be making rock candy. For this you will need 3 cups of sugar, 1 cup of boiling water, a clean glass or jar, a wooden skewer and a peg. Food colouring is optional. You will need an adult to help you with this. Dissolve the sugar in the boiling water a bit at a time. You want to create a solution which is super saturated with sugar. You can do this with boiling water from a kettle, put it in a pan to dissolve, or even in the microwave. You mix a solute and a solvent to create a solution. Here, sugar is our solute and water is our solvent. They come together to create this sugar water solution. Saturated means our solution has the maximum amount of sugar dissolved in the water possible. If you want it to be coloured, add a few drops of food colouring. Let your solution cool for 30 minutes to an hour before pouring it into your jar. Crystals need a starting point to grow on, so if you're using a smooth skewer like me, you need to wet it, roll it in sugar and then let it dry. This will help the sugar crystals to get a hold of the skewer and it will create seeds from which the crystals can grow. Place a wooden skewer into the jar and secure it with a peg. Make sure it doesn't touch the bottom. And now we wait. Leave the container somewhere it won't get disturbed. It can take a few days for us to get good crystal growth. Remove the crystals, let them dry and enjoy them. How did these form? Well, at the beginning of this experiment we created a super saturated solution and this means we made a solution which contained more sugar than water can usually hold. We used hot water for this because hot water can dissolve a lot more sugar than cold. Over time the water in the solution evaporated. This means that it turned from liquid into gas. This left behind the sugar in the jar encouraging crystals to grow on the skewer. A crystal consists of matter, which is formed in an ordered arrangement of atoms, ions or molecules. Simply, crystals are materials which group together in a repeated pattern. And because there are repeated units, crystals have recognisable structures. If you look really closely at these crystals, you will see that they're actually hexagonal shapes. Sugar crystals are one of the few types of crystals that you can grow and actually eat. Some everyday materials you see in the form of crystals are sugar, salt and actually snowflakes. Many gemstones are also crystals and this includes quartz and diamond. Thanks for watching, see you next time!